how you got this idea of ship finex how happy are you with the ship finex progress so far and what is the technology behind ship finex how is ship finex not like any other crypto company many people still feel you know that crypto is a scam how safe is the investment in maritime guys today i have with me captain vikas pande who is co-founder and coo chief operating officer of ship finex with me first of all vikas uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to shoot you and bring me on board first time i am boarding a ship just for making a video it was like a dream yeah say same with me uh, sunil same with me captain sunil yeah and uh, thanks to you as well that you took your time out from your busy schedule in terms of doing uh, in the vacation when you are at home uh, thank you so much for coming here and taking uh, this interview of ship finex thank you so tell tell me about your career progression which year you started how all in short okay so it is uh, i started my career in 2002 as a cadet with one of the largest ship management company in the world uh, agglution ship management yeah. and uh, then rose up to my career to become captain and getting the license and lucky enough to get the promotion faster yeah. and uh, because of you know how the nature of our job is you know we are on board and then after that we come yeah. home for a long period of time yeah. and because of the entrepreneurial uh, instinct which i had from the beginning So in 2010 I started my entrepreneurial journey as well while sailing and uh, then 2013 14 I actually hanged my boots and uh, uh, completely gave my time to my entrepreneurial stuff and uh, from 2010 it's like 12 years now yeah. so I have started the uh, good number of startups uh, took the exit out of them started my own ship management company marine services company started my telecommunication company and uh, now i'm here with you uh, we have started ship finex uh, for which i'm here so that's how my career progression was so captain vikas how you got this idea of ship finex okay so idea of ship finex actually came in 2018 19 when i attended this uh, conference in vizac about uh, blockchain technology and uh, so practically after uh, learning blockchain technology and actually the principle behind it uh, i was trying to identify that how it can be applied into the shipping industry as well. so there are various uh, places where it can be applied and a lot of companies are working on it very uh, aggressively and the changes are coming up uh, but i realized few problems what our industry is facing which is the first and foremost when we talk about investment if i even i ask you like where do you do your investment yes. so you you will never think of in your head that uh, i invest into ships it's not possible ship is a yeah. very expensive asset and uh, if somebody wants to buy this asset you have to have that much amount of money can be 5 million dollars to 300 million dollars right yeah. so uh, you need really need to be ultra high net worth individual or something to buy this asset so blockchain technology allows you to fractionalize the asset yes. using a simple technology which i said is a blockchain technology uh, and uh, uh, you can fractionalize the asset and these asset can put on a blockchain and any person can actually who holds the yeah. uh, key of that particular fraction right. of the asset uh, will become the true owner of this uh, particular asset so you can actually fractionalize the asset so the problem with the retail investors which who cannot enter into shipping as an investment class they can enter into this uh, through ship finex platform so and uh, also uh, uh, as a ship owner the biggest problem our ship owner fe feels and sees is that they uh, have their assets illiquid it's like it's a floating 15 million dollars or 100 million dollars worth of asset which is floating yeah. in the water and it's illiquid either he has to sell it or he mortgaging is also not simple for for getting it liquid so ship finex platform allows the ship owners to fractionalize the asset offer it to the normal people to own the asset uh, as a part owner and enjoy the Uh, same revenue rewards or i can say incentives or dividends what uh, a ship owner is enjoying so he can liquid the asset he can uh, put it on our platform uh, so all these problems when we identify it uh, and we realize that blockchain technology can solve this and uh, that's how ship finex came all in the picture this is amazing a sailing master is into technology and he gets a idea about technology 
you know our background is not even engineering so this is really appreciable so if he can think about something like this you know it means any of us can do anything if we really want to do it uh, yeah correct and and uh, it's not about okay thought process is one thing but i i am really blessed to have uh, uh, right co-founders with me those who are from the shipping background and from the technology background as well so like our chief technology officer is uh, Tawal Deep Aroda who is ex Tesla has uh, is very very uh, in the technology space in Silicon Valley for last 20 years so he is heading our technology so lucky enough to uh, attach him into our platform and uh, we are like and, and we have other co-founders as well who are uh, from the ship broking and chartering background uh, our CEO is uh, uh, ex DMET uh, and he is uh, he has uh, been a head of private equity and shipping finance as well and uh, there are like good co-founders I have I'll say it's more of a team uh, which we have which actually made ShipFinex as ShipFinex now. Next one how happy are you with the ShipFinex progress so far? See practically uh, saying you know uh, that uh, excellence is always you run for it but <laughs> it takes time to achieve it so we are practically happy with the progress whatever we have done as of now uh, just for your information we have just won the startup world cup pitch competition in Dubai it was held in uh, the palm in world blockchain summit and uh, we were one of the startups like young startups we are like four months old we just started in the month of uh, July and uh, we participated in the pitch and uh, there were like good amount of five six venture capital heads were there who were in the jury and uh, this particular event was organized by Pegasus Tech Ventures and Pegasus Tech Venture is uh, uh, one of the world's largest venture capital firm whose portfolio is SpaceX, Airbnb and Coinbase so they are organized this and we participated in their regional championship so we won that startup world cup last month uh, and now we are the regional champion of middle east and now we are going for the finals in san francisco and i would like all your uh, viewers and all your followers to wish us Very all the best that we win the san, uh, san francisco yeah. finals and uh, we so practically we are happy uh, whatever uh, we have achieved so far we are getting good traction uh, from the community as well and uh, and you know it's like these kind of changes are not easy yeah. uh, when you try to change something which is very traditional and bring something new uh, it always gets some resistance but you know with the time things uh, yes. changes people start adapting yeah. Yeah. you know they try understanding that the technology is the one which can only bring the change so uh, we are happy so far and uh, we have a long way to go and uh, our team is fully committed we are expanding very fast in terms of adding more and more people going to different different countries we are appointing ambassadors all across the globe and uh, uh, wish us uh, luck that uh, we do what we have planned I in wish our you, I, I wish you all the luck and happiness and the progress you have done it's Thank really you, appreciable Thank shipping you, industry will have a name in the world you know very few people still know about shipping industry that yeah, is another we added advantage we are only we were the only tech startup uh, participated in the startup world cup in the from the maritime side Absolutely. and, and we, we won it you know it's like yeah. it was crazy yeah. mr kaval arora who is the chief technology mm -hmm. officer of ship phoenix and we would like to know from him about yourself and what is the technology behind ship phoenix Thank you, Sunil. Yes, about myself, uh, I'm a developer technologist, uh, and I've been fortunate enough to be in this industry for about uh, 20 years. And 15 years of that was in Silicon Valley. Uh, I have seen an interesting, like everybody has, but I was kind of at the front row uh, seat, if you will, uh, starting from dot com era back in 2000. And then uh, we all know what. Uh, dot com era did for us. It kind of changed our lives. You could yeah. buy stuff online. You could do a lot of things online. And then came your uh, mobile era, if you will, right? With the release of iPhone. Yeah. And slowly, uh, and by 2015, uh, more than one third of the population had a mobile phone, right? And with the data, right? Cheap enough for everybody to be able to do so many things online, which was just not possible. So that kind of uh, created a paradigm shift uh, in how we live, uh, how we do business, right? Uh, and it created a paradigm shift in uh, our economy as well. Things which were not possible are not possible, right? 
and similar shift is kind of coming right now uh, through a technology called blockchain right so uh, think about it this way you know uh, let us just talk about the paradigm shift we've been talking about technology but economically also certain things has happened uh, that created paradigm shifts uh, during our history and this is one of those paradigm shift yeah. for example uh, first business used to be owned by uh, individuals or families right yeah. Yeah. and when uh, you could have a corporate own a business could have group of individual own a business that disconnected them so just not the rich folks could do business but group of individual could do business and then when you have bank giving them loan and you start to do business that way it opens up economy in a different way and then when you had stock market right and that kind of opened up also in a very different way right this another paradigm shift now people can invest in a company right and people can run the company okay now moving forward now blockchain has created this paradigm uh, wherein so you have this big big companies that can go to stock market and get money from the people but what about uh, let's say ship which we are going to talk about uh, what about real estate uh, how they can do the same you know blockchain enables that to happen and that is why it's a paradigm shift the technology has come up but slowly people are kind of awakening to this particular possibility uh, the regulations are regulators are like hey this is possible is it legal illegal whatever like there's a lot of uh, uh it's just like the new paradigm is just beginning to evolve and people are just beginning to understand this particular paradigm which is going to change the landscape of economy completely right this is the paradigm shift that we're talking about so now it's really important uh, to understand what uh, blockchain is right and how uh, blockchain is enabling uh, this particular paradigm shift uh, so let's say if i have to uh, transfer a value to you let's say 2 dollars right yeah. i can write in a piece of paper i am giving you 2 dollars yeah. but is that a valid statement is it valid no right because you don't trust me i don't trust you and nobody trusts that shit right so we have to use bank bank becomes the intermediary for the transfer of bank right now what happens is since bank has become the intermediary it gains a lot of power and what happens when you some entity or group of entity has too much power they can abuse that power and that's what we saw in 2000 2008 like 2000 no, 2010 right 2009 2010 when you had this whole banking system collapsing on us and that was the time then certain people thought hey uh, this is a little bit too much uh, dependency on uh, you know banks why don't we do develop a technology that we can do transfer of value without an intermediary that's with blockchain paradigm came and what we do is like okay uh, we don't want one third party to be able to have that particular control so uh, we have many people holding that particular uh, control in the way so what we have is a ledger uh, that is maintained by not you not me but set of people who holds a ledger and that's distributed now that also uh, has many uh, you know uh, other value in sense that uh, a bank can be prone to hacking right one single place can be prone to hacking but distributing that yeah with bunch of people right you prevent that so now the ecosystem has developed so that like for for example bitcoin uh, has got like thousands and thousands of nodes right so it's not possible for a single hacker to hack everything so we have redundancy in the system right and that you transfer of value now when you have a software program that is able to do a transfer of value another thing comes into the picture i can have business rules associated with that right all of a sudden that transfer of value money becomes intelligent right i can have things like now i can have things like a security token now that is the basic difference between you know a cryptocurrency where you just transferring some value yeah where is a security token now yes. you can associate a token just like a share okay so i can hold that part of the company and that is why the blockchain technology is suited 
for this kind of uh, paradigm shift mm -hmm. wherein as an individual uh, I can hold uh, a part of a company like a share uh, and a particular entity uh, can put their asset uh, and digitize it mm -hmm. right so that is exactly what we're doing in shift Phoenix, right uh, first of all which uh, like you know uh, it's, it wasn't easy or like it wasn't even forget what being easy it was not even possible for an individual person to be able to invest uh, in a ship right yeah. that was that is not available right now so through blockchain uh, we are able to uh, give that facility that ship owners can come uh, and put their ship online uh, and digitize it uh, and people can own a part of it and that is kind of the basic of uh, the whole thing of course there's a lot of details in that uh, but this is a very interesting time uh, see any group of people uh, who went into a particular technology or paradigm shift in the beginning were the one who kind of gained most from it right uh, because then if you're behind the curve find you just just a user right so this is a very good time as as technology people as people who are innovators who are able to come in but as investors also, this is a very good time uh, to come in, to be ahead of the curve uh, and uh, get into this amazing possibility of blockchain and tokenization. So do you see any disadvantage in this new system of blockchain and keeping this ledger everywhere? Because what I've heard is too much power consumption and so many computers and you know. Yes, uh, this was uh, a certainly a problem. Uh, uh, Bitcoin has that problem. And it right now, honestly, that's a little bit ridiculous because the transfer of value is so costly uh, that it does not make sense. So Bitcoin has become some sort of a kind of a gold or like a diamond thing yeah. that people hold it uh, and it's fictitious. It's just values keeps coming up and down. So uh, I'm not very positive on the cryptocurrency side of things, but tokenization of a real asset that's a different thing altogether and the technology that we use is not the same technology as bitcoin uh, this is a private blockchain if you will right that's a different uh, paradigm altogether and with ethereum coming into the picture right uh, and also ethereum shifting to proof of stakes rather than proof of work that has reduced the consumption quite a bit and compared to the transfer of uh, uh, value that, that we are providing versus the cost of the transfer of value, actually it's coming down to very much like it's a fraction. So it depends upon where you are in the particular picture. I believe what we are doing uh, uh, is a good value proposition. So Captain Vikas, how is Ship Phoenix not like any other crypto company like uh, FTX? Okay, see, I think you mean to ask that uh, how is ShipFinex other than, uh, different than other cryptocurrency exchanges? Absolutely. And you are more concerned about the recent fallout, yes. which has happened of uh, FTX, one Absolutely. of the biggest fallout of. Yeah. And see, see, uh, uh, ShipFinex is something which is uh, about physical assets. We are talking about ships which carry real value. You can see the ship. The ship is like it's around $16 million, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, this is the difference between the FTX or any other cryptocurrency exchanges and Shipfinex that what we are doing is we are listing the real asset and which are ships mm -hmm. and which carry real value which earn the money for the ship owners right so 80% of the global trade is done by ships mm -hmm. so they are the real physical assets which are listed on our exchange so we are listing the real ships not uh, a cryptocurrency which is uh, based out of speculation. There are some very good projects going in, in the market. Obviously, FTX, what they did, they uh, absolutely scammed people uh, because, and it was not cryptocurrency. It is basically what they did, what banks or other institutions can do, right? So they have uh, actually not followed the regulations and uh, that's why people lose money because people don't read, people don't understand. So in ShipFinex, we are listing the real Real ships, yeah. real ships and real assets. We will elaborate a little bit more. Many people still feel, you know, that crypto is a scam. And uh, so how do you think, you know, what do you have to say about this? 
Correct. I, I get your question, and this is a very valid and very good question because uh, obviously we say that um, more than like some people say uh, all currencies, all coins are scam. Yeah. Okay, that's the people perspective, and because of the irregulated market, uh, obviously when the things are not regulated well, uh, there are people who will take the advantage of it, right? And this has been happening not now, this has been happening from ages. We have seen so many companies, scams and all those things, right? So uh, what I will say here is that all cryptocurrencies are not scam. What and what you have to do as an investor, you have to understand the project. You have to understand what the real people behind it. Is there something which is real value uh, being done? Is it really innovative? Uh, how are they, what are they building? How are they building? And uh, what exactly is the team behind it? Is the project uh, has some kind of uh, innovation? Uh, are they something giving value to the people? Are they building something which is creating value for the person? For example, Shipfinex are build, uh, creating value for the ship owner as well. Yeah. We are making his uh, assets uh, which are uh, not liquid, uh, we are making it liquid, right, for them. So, uh, as a investor or as a person, cryptocurrency as a technology is one of the mind-boggling and innovative technology. Now, how people use it is something different. Right. So people can use it for scams and it is up to us as an investor that we should know, we should read about the product, yeah. we should read about the project and all these things, if you basic due diligence, if you do, uh, you will feel that, okay, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a scam, yeah. but there are scams around. We have to be very, very <laughs> careful about it. Yeah. So Captain Vikas, I assume many of would have got convinced by his amazing answers. So now, say we have some viewers who want to invest in Shipfinex. How can they do it? Okay, uh, so as Shipfinex, uh, right now our pre-sale is open. Our utility coin is Marine Coin of the exchange. And we are launching our uh, Marine Coin in various cryptocurrency exchanges uh, from where you can actually buy uh, our, our token in the month of January or February somewhere. Uh, and uh, at present, our pre-sale is open. You can go to shipfinex.com yes. uh, you can buy marine coin there pre-sale is open at uh, 7 cents right now yes. so you can invest the minimum investment is 500 dollars which you have to do so you can invest 500 dollars and you can buy the tokens very nice so it's as simple as that you just have to go www.shipfinex.com obviously the link will be in description below and you go to that website you will be very easy website you'll be guided what to do how to do how to buy as he said minimum 500 dollar how many MRN coins maximum we will have? So we have uh, 499 million uh, marine coins which are going to be released uh, within a period of uh, 3 to 4 years and uh, that's the total supply. 499 million, even the Bitcoin has only 21 million and you are saying MRN coin are going to be 499 million. Yeah. And there, there is a reason behind it, how we have kept it. We have studied all the white papers and we have seen the economy. Like So uh, the total industry of maritime, we say it's like $1.3 trillion, right? That is the value of the ship. And uh, so we came up with the mathematics and came up that 499 million if we'll keep. So that that uh, economy, for the economy purpose, for the tokenization purpose, in the tokenomics, uh, we came up with this number. And uh, that's the total supply, which will ever happen. Last question for Captain Vikas, how safe is the investment in maritime? Okay, so this is also a very uh, good question you have asked that how safe is the investment to ship. You are a captain yourself, yes. uh, I was a captain and so we, uh, as a ship, we know that shipping is a cyclical industry. So on a long term basis, a uh, maritime asset gives returns between 12% 12 12 to 20% between like how much long you can hold or what exactly is the market going on. For example, like in, in last two years, owners have got 50% returns, 70% of return because of the market gone up, right? So uh, shipping investment is uh, like other investments as well, but it is, as I said, it is behind a real value and there is a real earning of the asset which is happening. Uh, so uh, practically, uh, ship investments are safe because if you would have read uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad as well, so they say the people become rich. Yeah. When they become rich, because they buy the asset which gives them the yield, right? Which actually gives them the earnings. So ship is an asset which is being owned by only rich people. 
and they have been yielding out of it for so much of so many years yeah. right so now with shipfinex you get a chance to participate in a kind of asset which is yielding for rich people yes. so it's time to uh, it's time for you also to yield from that asset so it's it's a safe a safe yeah. investment absolutely yeah. we know about it uh, but yes uh, like other asset classes depends on the market a uh, lot of risk are involved and good part is that all ships are insured you know yeah. it does it never goes down yeah. the drain right so all ships are insured if something happens obviously uh, uh, the value of the ship will be uh, whatever is the insurance amount will be distributed among the owners as well it was lovely talking to uh, captain vikas from ship phoenix ceo is here if you like the video hit the like button if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing to the channel we are going to come up with more and more information as and when we have available and we'll definitely be answering the doubts so please do leave the comments below with all your doubts we will either reply them in comment section or cover them in our future videos yes guys that thank you so much captain sunil for again your time what you have given and uh, given us a chance to speak to your audience as well thank you pleasure pleasure